Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your card of the day. I'm posting this February 19th, but it's going to be for the next 24 hours, whatever day you happen to stumble upon this video. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see what's coming up here. For Sagittarius, we have Two of Swords. Now the Two of Swords is going to come up in a couple of different ways. Two of Swords can be coming up to caution you today that you might have somebody who's trying to keep information away from you. Like they're not necessarily lying to you, but they're not telling you the full truth either. Um, or some of you maybe are confronting a supervisor at work and you're wanting to know where something stands or how far along something is and they might withhold information with you. They might not tell you the full you know, behind the scenes, what's going on. So listen to your gut and listen to your intuition. If you're dealing with somebody today and you feel like they're not telling you everything, chances are they're not. Listen to your gut. Listen to your uh, gut feeling and your intuition. The other way that Two of Swords comes up, um, actually, there's three ways. The other way to, one of the other ways it comes up is that you might be at an impasse with somebody and so what this means is you don't see eye to eye you don't agree but neither person wants to budge and neither person wants to give up it's like well we're just gonna sit here and stare at each other until you realize i'm right okay well then we're just gonna sit and stare at each other until you realize that i'm right and neither one wants to walk away, neither one wants to give up, but neither one wants to give in. And so there could be some sense of a deadlock or an impasse. The third way that the Two of Swords comes up, and this is more of a personal thing for me, over the years reading for people, one of the things I've realized is the Two of Swords seems to come up as a warning. It's like, hey, listen, Sagittarius, we've been showing you the writing on the wall, We've been telling you what's up. We've been guiding you to take these steps and you're not taking the steps. And so we can't wait much longer. Either you have to pay attention to the red flags and take the steps accordingly in faith and in trust. Or we're going to have to come in and give you a tower moment. Now keep in mind that tower moments are not punishments. The tower, mo the tower moments are like cosmic prison breaks to get us unstuck to keep us on track so it's an act of love the only thing is that the tower can feel very scary because it's so sudden and we're not expecting it and we're not ready for it it can feel scary so you can avoid that scariness by taking the steps that you're being guided to take now and not waiting for it to escalate to that tower moment you may want to check out your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign, and see what messages are coming up for you in those areas or in those houses. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you go to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, you can schedule the private reading with me there. I will be posting the weekly forecasts again in the next 48 hours. You should be seeing them pop up. And then every single day, I will do a daily card for everybody. And hopefully that will be a happy little compromise or a happy little medium here for everyone. We'll try that out for a while and see how that goes. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and wishing you all a wonderful day. Take care, Sagittarius.